projects. In this video, we are going to explain about a project titled Accident Detection Using Images. Accident Detection Using Images is an innovative endeavor focused on harnessing the capability of image processing and artificial intelligence technology to enhance the road safety. The main goal of this project is to create a real-time accident detection system that utilizes the image analysis by leveraging the cameras and sensors installed in a vehicle or on road infrastructure. The system can rapidly identify the critical incident such as car crashes or collisions and promptly notify the relevant authority and emergency service. This advanced solution has the potential to significantly reduce the response time leading to faster emergency assistance and potentially saving life. By incorporating the start of art image recognition algorithm, accident detection using images aim to contribute to a safer and more secure transportation environment benefiting the all road users. The primary goal of this project is to develop an effective accident detection system using the images. To achieve this, advanced image processing and deep learning algorithms including Inception V3, Inception ResNet V2, DenseNet and ResNet will be employed to analyze the real-time images captured by cameras installed in vehicles or road infrastructure. The project entails importing the necessary libraries obtained and reprocessing a diverse dataset containing of accident and non-accident images and divided into the training and testing set for algorithm training and evaluation. By comparing the performance of these algorithms, the project will determine the most accurate model for the real-time accident detection. Additionally, a user-friendly interface will be created to showcase the system capability and facilitate its deployment in the scenarios. Extensive testing and various road conditions will ensure the system accuracy, responsiveness and reliability, ultimately contributing to improved road safety and emergency response measures. These are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. The software requirement Python IDEL with version of 3.7 or Anaconda with version of 3.7 or Jupyter or Google Collab. Hardware requirements are operating system as Windows or Linux, processor of minimum Intel i3, RAM of minimum 4 GB, hard disk of minimum 250 GB. To know about the flow of the project, these are the steps we need to discuss. The first one is importing the libraries. In this step, the necessary Python libraries are imported to support the various functionalities throughout the project. Commonly used libraries include TensorFlow, Keras for deep learning tasks, NumPy for numerical operation, Matplotlib for data visualization, Pandas for data handling, Flask for creating the web interface, and other relevant libraries for this image processing and the model evaluation. And the second step is importing the dataset. In this dataset, the project consists of images captured from the cameras in the vehicles or the road infrastructure. These images include both the accident and non-accident scenarios forming the basis for the training and evaluating the accident detection model. And the third one is splitting the dataset into the training and the testing. The imported dataset is divided into the two subsets, the training and the testing. Training set is used for training the deep learning model, allowing them to learn from the input images and the corresponding label. The testing set is to keep separate and is used to evaluate the model performance on the unseen data, providing the insight into its accuracy and generalization ability. And the fourth one is applying the algorithms. Here, we applied a four deep learning algorithm. The first one is Inception V3. It's a deep convolutional neural network that designed for the image classification and achieved the state-of-art performance on various benchmark datasets. Inception V3 is characterized by its unique Inception model, which uses the multiple filter sizes in parallel to capture the spatial pattern at different scales. And the second one is Inception ResNet V2. As an extension of Inception architecture, 
that incorporates the residual connection inspired by the ResNet architecture. The residual connection allow the network to learn the residual feature making it easier to train very deep neural network. This combination of the inception and the ResNet concept results in a powerful architecture with the improved performance. And the third one is DenseNet. As a deep learning architecture known for its dense connectivity pattern where each layer receives the feature map from all preceding layer, this dense connectivity promotes the feature reuse and enabling the efficient training with the fewer parameter compared to the traditional CNN architecture. And the fourth one is ResNet. ResNet means of residual neural network is a widely adopted deep learning architecture that introduce residual connection. This connection allow the network to learn the difference between the current layer's output and the input, effectively learning the necessary information at each layer. And the fifth one is training the model. The accident detection models are trained on the training set using the selected deep learning algorithm. During the training, the model adjusts the parameters based on the input images and corresponding labels to optimize the performance and distinguishing between the two classes as of accident or not. And the sixth one is user gives the input. To facilitate the user interaction, a user-friendly web interface is created using the Flask, a Python web framework. This interface allows the user to input the images for accident detection, users can upload the images through the web interface simulating the real world scenario. And the seventh one is the given input is pre processed for prediction. The input images are pre processed to ensure they are in suitable format for the trained model. Image pre processing involves resizing, normalization, and transformation to match the input requirement for the deep learning model. And the eighth one is trained model is used for prediction. The pre-processed user input are fed into the trained incident detection model and each model predict whether the input image represents an accident scenario or not. And the last one is final outcome is displayed. The prediction from all four models are collected and the final outcome is displayed to the user through the Flask web interface. The results indicate whether the given input image is classified as an accident or not and based on the model's planned pattern and the features. The execution of the project. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder. This is the code folder containing of the different files within it. The data folder containing of the folders accident and non-accident within each folder containing of the images within it and the output folder containing of the training and the data set and the sample folder containing of the images that will be used to test the performance of the model and the static folder containing of the folders that is used for the web interface that is of CSS, JS, images and of many more and the templates folder containing of the HTML document of after home index sign in and sign up and the app is an py file contains the information related to the front end logic it include the code written in python that handle the server side operation such as processing the user request interacting with the database and generating the dynamic content that will be rendered in the html template and the notebook is an ipynb file contain a combination of the code, graph, and output all in one place. It allows the user to write and execute the code in individual cell, making a popular choice for the data sign. And the sign up as a DB file that will be used to store the user information. And for the execution of the project, we build a Flask framework and main code that contains of the graph and output all are present in the Jupyter Notebook, named as Op Notebook. And for the execution, first we need to copy this code folder address and open the Anaconda prompt. Here we need to first 
change the disk position as of F because of the code folder is present in F disk and then write the command cd space paste the co paste the copied address of the code folder. This command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path and then enter the enter button. Here we need to write another command of python space app.p1. This command is used to execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or the logical issues. And then click on it and here after running the python app.p1 file, the flask framework will host the application locally at the default address by giving us this address. Here we need to copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it on any web browser. And I prefer to use this Microsoft Edge and paste this address and click on enter button. This is the home page of our project and here it contains of home and sign up buttons and click on sign up button and redirect it to this sign up page containing the information related to create a new user account but our my account is already created that's why i'm using the sign in button and it redirected to the signing page and add of my username and password and this page as of admin and then click on sign in button here it redirected to this index page containing of home about and sign out buttons and here we have a file to choose button and upload button here click on choose file button it redirected to this sample folder containing of the different images within it and i'm selecting one image and clicking on open button and then click on upload button here it will redirect it to the result page predicted whether the image contains of the accident or no and it predicted as of no accident and then click on try again button to redirect it to the index page having the choose file and upload buttons and click on the choose file and select any one of the image from the sample folder and selecting this and then click on open button and then click on upload button and here we get an result page predicted as this image contains of accident in this way we can detect the accident by using the images and conclusion the development of the accident detection system using the images represent a significant step towards improving the road safety and emergency response mechanism. Through the integration of the advanced image processing and the deep learning algorithms including the Inception V3, Inception ResNet V2, TenseNet and ResNet, the system has showcased the promising capability in the real-time accident detection. The rigorous evaluation and the comparison of these algorithms have led to the identification of the most accurate model for this critical task. The user-friendly interface further enhances its practicality and potential for seamless deployment and various road scenarios. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.